<laughs> What's up YouTube, it's me Kirby and I'm doing another episode here on my five disc cooker. Today I'm going to be seasoning the cooker up. Uh, so first things first, I'm going to connect my 20 pound propane tank to the uh, cooker then we're going to go ahead and get it heated up and then add my um, oil to start seasoning. I'm going to use peanut oil, that's what uh, I had on hand, so that's what I'm going to use today to season up. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the camera, bring in a little bit close, I can show you how I'm going to connect the 20 pound propane tank and um, then with the seasoning process. Alright, hang on for just a sec. All right. Okay, as I shared in my previous video, it comes with a one pound propane bottle connector already. Um, and you can purchase the 20 pound adapter with it. And all you have to do is just screw this in. Such cross threading it. Don't want to cross thread it. Make sure I get it correct. Alright, so that's on. Then of course go ahead and attach it to your propane tank. Now one of the features that I do like on this connector is that it has a little gauge on it. Let me bring that in and show you the gauge. Okay, and that's the gauge. Now whether or not it's true tail, I don't know. The tank feels kind of light to me, but when I open it up, it's giving me like it's an almost full setting. So maybe it is, maybe it's not. I don't know. But we'll go ahead and roll with that. All right. Over here, as you can see, looking at this, there's an off, low, medium. And on the far side, there's a high setting that we can use to adjust the flame. So let me go get my striker so we can ignite the uh, heat and then get the season into this bad boy. Hold on. All right, I got it set for high. Give it a little light. And as you can see, we got a flame. I got the wind guard on for now. And let's go ahead and get us up to temp. And just bring it up just so you can see that's on high. I'll let it go for a little while like that. All right, let's talk about to fire this for a little while. Let's come on over here. All right, on the back of the box, starting over here, it says seven reasons why you want to own a fire disc. It said it's designed to take along in three pieces, easy to take down design. And you saw me put it up in my unboxing video, which I will say um, that is pretty good how easy it is to set it up and to take it apart. Um, I think that it really is convenient thus far for that. Um, it says brings the family and friends together for one pot meals. Yeah, okay, all right, fire this guy. Yeah, I mean, we, that happens anytime you're gonna have food anywhere. Uh, okay, cooks lots of food and a large cooking device to operate on a propane canister. Uh, kind of, sorta. Now. I wouldn't necessarily call that a selling point um, because you can think about a grill, a gas grill, a charcoal grill. You can cook a lot of food in any of those. I wouldn't call that a selling point. Seasons like a cast iron. We're getting to figure that out. We're getting to do that right now. Cooks virtually anything from steaks to stir fry. Um, I would just say by design probably so and not so much because it because it's sort of like a walk shape 
there's going to be some things that you may not be able to do. That's just my personal opinion um, because uh, you're going to have to move things up and it's going to be on a slope and you may not want it on the slope. You may want it flat. So that's a point that I would take away. Fires up fast. No waiting for charcoal. Of course, propane always going to like quicker than charcoal, but you're not going to get the same flavor as charcoal. Charcoal is going to add a different flavor to it and it cleans up quickly. All right, so we're side of the seven uh, points to own. I say maybe three. Uh, good reason. Cleans quickly, easy to take down, and um, season like it's cast on. Everything else, uh, I don't think it's that great. Um, the, the disc, let's talk about some of the other features on it. It says disc grips right here. Okay, it, it, it does have a good, I like the handles on it. It's nice, sturdy, strong, easy to hold. Um, the regulator, yeah, that's nice. You can adjust the heat on it. I think that's nice. And it shows you here that you have a high heat center, a high heat point. There's three heating zones. It's going to be, and the center is going to be real high. Then you're going to have a medium zone, then the low zone. So, but the thing is, again, if this was flat, maybe I think I would give it a little bit more credit for that. But because you have a little bit of a slope, I think that's going to hurt you, especially when you want to try to do stuff like eggs or some other type of thing like that without having it to slide down and catch it. Uh... A flexible stand I like the stand that is easy to put up it's powder coated that's great and 22 inch cooking surface is good propane fuel great and um, sure flame burner all right so those are some uh, selling points for it and no tools required is always great no I mean you saw how quickly I put this together in my unboxing video. All right, let's get ready to season this thing. Put a little oil in there. Now, even for my black zone, I really haven't found the best material to use for seasoning. For spreading out the oil um, I don't like that the lint leaves behind and so what I'm going, I'm going to turn this down I got it on high I'm going to turn it down to medium for right now <clears throat> so I'm going to just start off with the paper towel and just getting this around everything Just let it smoke. And it's sort of like the black stone, just gonna let the smoke go until it burns off, and then add another layer. So once the smoke stops, I add another coat of oil. So I'll be back once that stops.
to some of the smoke is starting to dissipate from the center it's still a little bit coming off from the sides and so I'm going to consider it just about season I'm not going to do too wide well, I have done about two to three coats um, in between the takes <clears throat> I just didn't record it all I'm trying to do better at making my videos shorter instead of making them TV episodes <laughs> um, but uh, as you can see you see what I got um, I got some little bits of fragment that's probably coming from the rag burn heating up and coming off some of them. when it's absolutely cooled down I'm just getting another uh, paper towel or something just wipe it on my time to get those bits of debris out of it um, then I'll be looking forward to doing my uh, first cook on it so yeah yeah so I'm not getting no smoke now so it's probably a seasoned dip. Let me see if I might crank it up to just a little bit more, see if it burns off. I thought it, I was hoping to see um, it become blackened like this all the way around. It may happen over time, sort of the same thing with the black stone. Um, it just took a little bit of cooking to um, get the, the uh, I don't know if you can, um, the, the seasoning to go further but uh, but that's about it uh, it heats up real fast it gets super hot I should have brought my um, heat thermometer down here to see how hot it gets um, I think I heard the center when doing just looking at other YouTube videos from people who had it previously I think the center gets up to about somewhere around four to five hundred degrees and then it decreased later Joanne looking at me off camera like my mind going bad but, but, uh, <clears throat> but anyway, uh, I should have brought my uh, infrared thermometer to see what the temps are actually like. I'll probably do that on my first cook. But I think I'm going to call it a wrap on this one. Uh, hopefully this ain't too long of a video after it's all said and done um, from editing. And um, I hope you like it, YouTube. This is the fire disc. This is me seasoning up and... Uh, again, looking forward to my first cook on it. All right, y'all take it easy. This is Kirby Q. Fire for effect.